I don't know if it was, but kids, kids run the church, dude. On the low, kids come to church now with no respect either. Man, I remember growing up, when you came to church, you didn't bring anything with you, no toys. No toys or nothing. You walked in. If you, exactly. And, and if you got caught with a toy, you just get a whipping. That was it. Listen, you can get caught playing with some string, like you're having too much fun, meet me in the bathroom. They, they're not, they didn't play that. Dude. Not these kids. Last week I went to a church. It was some church we visited. It was one of those like, helicopters you see in the mall just flying around. I don't know who was controlling it. <laughs> these kids don't care, man. I was scared to, I was scared to get caught like a troll dog. When you get caught with a troll dog, you was done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh no, not these kids. Now they bring like a three-foot robot to church with them. <laughs> they don't even turn the sound off the whole time in church all year. Just kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. <laughs> Just, kids don't care. Well, and, uh, I don't know, man. And, uh, and, and I'm going to say something to some people. Somebody going to get angry because y'all know who y'all are. But in, sometimes in church, if you're doing a task, you're just doing a task, okay? Everything's not a ministry. All right? You just did something. Relax, all right? I hate people like that. They want to call everything a ministry. Like, say if you have a game night. That was just a game night, okay? Don't sit there and say thank you to everybody at the end of the night. Like, hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out. First, let's give it up for the bingo ministry. Give it up for the bingo ministry. <laughs> and I see y'all enjoying those sandwiches. Give it up for the sandwich ministry, y'all. We need all those sandwiches, the turkey and everything. And I see y'all enjoying those ice cold sodas. Give it up for the ice ministry. <laughs> They bring all the ices. <laughs> and I see y'all see that it's nice and safe in here, that no riffraff got in. Give it up for the bouncing ministry. <laughs> they bounce out all the riffraff. And I know some of y'all wondering, how do all these ministries know what to go ministry? Give it up for the ministry of ministries. <laughs> they tell all the ministries what to go ministries. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. I don't think ministries. <laughs> but it's a word at all. <laughs> it's like, all right, relax. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, if we, ha if, all right, if we have a church picnic and you volunteer to make the potato salad, and at the end of the cookout, only thing that's left is your potato salad. <laughs> Please don't volunteer to make the potato salad again. <laughs> no one cares that your kids love the potato salad. We know they love it because they were the only people that taste some of your potato salad. Who puts raisins in a potato salad? That's all I'm saying. It was horrible. You know what I mean? Like, stop making a potato salad. When, uh, you know, like, they pray at church, <laughs> and y'all got a whole hands like a circle. Like, I don't know, y'all go to big churches, so y'all don't do that. Y'all just sit down. When you go to a small church, we can all hold hands. It's like, like seven of us, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we just still hold hands. And the worst thing when you hold hands and you pray, and somebody praying too long, Y'all know what we do. Y'all know what we do when that happens. You start forcing those amens, and they keep ignoring them, and you get mad. But before you start forcing the amens, there's always like a lot of stuff that happens before that happens. You always, first you hold hands in a circle. And first, those, those, your hands start sweating. And you go, oh. And then those legs start shaking. You go, oh. And then you just open your eyes, because you get annoyed. Like that. <laughs> and then what's that? Then you just release your hands and you do this thing. <laughs> and you stare at other people that's mad like you. And... <laughs> you need to wrap this up, I know. Tap on us up. And after y'all start pulling out the amen, amen. <laughs> he knows already. <laughs> You told them all about it. The one person just fly up the head and just, come on, man, we're just trying to eat. Come on. Wrap this up, man. Uh, and how about this? Look, hey, if there's any pastors out there, if there's any pastors, a deacons, stop telling us to stand up and you're not ready to stop yet. I hate that. I don't know about y'all. I'm going to just read one more passage. Everybody, please stand. 45 minutes later, he did his whole text just now. You don't know what to do.
do it. And you're in the front row, you don't want to look backwards to see if everybody else still standing. And then finally you're like, ah, dang, I'm the only one standing. I mean, that's the worst feeling. You don't know what to do. Tell me something. Come on. Sometimes I look around like, oh, you can sit down now. I just, say something, man. Oh, that's great.